I chose Survivor. Uh, I chose Ambitious. Why did I choose it? Well, my words, my words, fierce. Kind. Yes. Well, I chose the word strong just because I think that um, I've been through a lot of things in my life, even though I'm still like young, I think. Well, I, evidently I chose the word loved. I chose the word unafraid. For me, creative, I've always been in the arts. I chose proud. I chose the word brave because I think that to be who you are, you need to be brave enough to live your life. I picked authentic. Uh, my word was empowered. My word is uh, determined and I chose it because I try and really maintain a really positive outlook on life and I think it's really important to structure goals and to keep challenging yourself. I think it's important to be, be determined to strive for more than what you've got. And my word is courageous and the reason why I chose it was something like today I've never done. Never really stepped out of my comfort zone and this is a really big thing. Being in the arts gets me away from troubles in life. It's my little, my haven, my little safe bubble, I guess. And to me, that's personally at the core of my being. It's at the core of everything. I chose happy because there's so much negativity in the world. There's, for me, I have no reason not to be happy. So I guess that's just how I define myself, as being happy. <laughs> I use the word um, loyal. I think loyal is a really important characteristic, and um, especially when you're in a, a relationship with someone. To me, unafraid means many things, but the one thing that comes out, which is common sense, is that always face your challenges and, and fight and, and never give up. I chose the word free. Uh, because I feel like I've come to a place in my life now where I really am free to be who I want to be, do I, what I want to do and what I think is right for me and my life and the people around me rather than trying to do things or be somebody to please other people. I was from Malaysia and basically being me in Malaysia is not exactly an easy thing. Yeah, I think that I've gone through so many things. I, I survived a lot of challenges and yeah like I'm a survivor so super strong basically yeah like a wonder woman kind of thing <laughs> I just think it sums me up really well the reflection of who you are and the labels you give yourself you got to be proud of that it's it's really personal to me because I find I try to find a way to make the most of the personality and the traits that I've been given if you own the labels then it, they're, they're powerless no matter how negative they are I think it's important because I think certain labels within the LBGTQIA plus community do still carry stigma and I think it's important that while we are defining ourselves that we don't just define ourselves as who we love but we define ourselves as who we are and the bigger characteristics within ourselves. You know it's obviously not the only thing about us being queer, LGBTI, our sexuality and our gender is not everything about us. It's a huge part and you know, there's no discrediting that and that should not be diminished. But this sort of campaign highlights the fact that there's a myriad of other aspects to everyone's life. Um, for me, I think that, well, everyone should be free to define themselves um, and not have to live under these labels. So everyone should be able to find words or things or ways of being to define themselves. <laughs> Confidence and rocking what you got is more, the most important thing. Have enough courage to be brave. I think it's important because a lot of the time other people give you labels. This campaign turns the head on defining yourself. I'm here because I'd like to get more involved in the community. Um, I think it's a pretty important project because we're all, um, the LGBTI is um, labels in itself, so uh, this is taking away from the actual LGBTI, so it's, it's pretty important to see that we're more than just a letter in the rainbow. Honestly, I think this means a lot to me because um, I'm at that stage where I'm happy with myself, I think that it's like a process and a, a journey and I'm like halfway there, so I'm like I'm ready to say, hey, we're all look at me, kind of thing. So, yeah. Awesome.